taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about Squid Grow, which I haven't covered in a short while. And right now, we're seeing opportunity in this particular token. One of the things I wanted to talk about is the Ethereum bridge, right? Because, of course, right now, we know that Squid Grow is on the Binance Smart Chain. But, you know, the question is, is what is going to happen to the price when... Uh, it gets listed on Ethereum. We know that Shib Toshi is the owner of Squid Grow. We know the backstory. He's a Shiba Inu billionaire and a Bitcoin billionaire. And, um, you know, he was one of the uh, uh, the top whales in Shiba Inu. Um, held it for 400 days all the way up to like eight something billion dollars or something like that, if I remember correctly. And, uh, yeah, right about now, uh, this is only listed on the Binance Smart Chain, uh, but Shiptoshi is well in there with the Ethereum whale community. So what's this going to do to the price when it actually lists on Ethereum? Okay, guys, we know the price of Ethereum is down, like everything is down right now. We know that the price of Squid Grow is down if we look at the chart, right? The market cap has come down to about 5 million. It's seen an all-time high about 50 million, but right now the chart is looking good in my opinion when it comes to accumulating, right? And we are seeing lower prices. I managed to top up with some squid grow today. Okay, guys. And, um, you know, I'm well aware that it could come down a little bit further considering the market sentiment. But um, it's just too, you know, um, tough to resist right now, these low prices of squid grow. Because I strongly believe that this is going to come back. It's going to break its all-time high. Hopefully, not financial advice. Do your own research. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. But I do believe that it's got a high chance of breaking its all-time high. Uh, obviously, it's not going to happen overnight. But when the market turns around, when mean coins start popping off like crazy, I think that Squid Grow is going to be one of them that kind of gets those huge gains. All right, guys? We've only had one initial pump. And a lot of times, of course, you got to see a market cycle play out. So we do see a market cycle playing out. Um, I will expect to see some sideways accumulation, which is going to make it look even more bullish and probably even a better time to start picking up more Squid Grow. Like I said, not financial advice. But um, yeah, once it actually gets onto Ethereum, I think that's going to make it super bullish. Also, there is a recent AMA or Ask Me Anything uh, on the Twitter spaces, which I'm going to take a listen to. I haven't listened to it yet. I believe that this was at some, t uh, some point yesterday. So I'm looking forward to listening to that. I'm sure there's going to be some juicy things that they talked about in there. There was another exchange listing that I didn't cover, which is the Y5 decentralized exchange. So that's another bullish thing for squid grow so uh yeah right so squid grow exchange that's another thing that we're looking forward to okay so if we get the poster for the squid grow exchange um which is somewhere i did see it somewhere here um okay squid grow exchange uh we know it's going to be listing on its own exchange uh, which is in the works, right? And I believe that uh, that's probably going to, you know, it's, this is speculation, right? It's probably going to be around the same time that they do the Ethereum bridge, I would say. I know that the thing is or was almost ready not long ago, okay? And, um, you know, I think they're just waiting for the right time to push the button on the old Squid Grow exchange. When it comes to launching an exchange, you want to know that the team has the resources to make it happen. And with Shiptoshi's backstory, right, we know, let's just face it, we know that the resources are there. When it comes to all the marketing and stuff like that, we know that he's spending his own hard-earned money or, or crypto on the exchange listings, on the marketing, all that sort of stuff, right? I'd assume it's going to be the same thing with Squid Grow Exchange. They're probably going to have a big marketing plan for that as well. Um, and, and I think that that's going to do wonders for the price of Squid Grow itself. Um, there was a poll as to whether to change the name a little while back. I think it would actually be bullish if Squid Grow rebranded to SGX along with the Squid Grow Exchange, SGX. I think that would be super bullish. I'm not saying it should happen or has to happen. Many people might disagree, but uh, it would probably give it that more of an appeal when you look at things like GNS or GMX, uh, exchanges like that, right? Decentralized trading. Uh, those are pretty popular right now. We've seen a lot of upside in those, even during the bear market, right? So SGX would be a bullish name for the token. I don't know if they're going to have a second token called SGX, but... 
it, it does seem like pretty good branding, right? SGX, Squidward X, of course, what it stands for. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Some of you might just think, you know, leave it as a meme coin, Squid Grow, and it will forever be uh, a meme coin in its origin, right? But, you know, uh, things like this, there, there, there is room to evolve. Okay, guys? So, uh, yeah, I think that's just, you know, it's just speculation it's just my opinion that that could be a pretty good thing and of course sometimes you know when you kind of relaunch a token as well uh you can relaunch at the same market cap the same price or stuff like that but sometimes people just look at it as a brand new token on the chart and that could even get some price action uh, maybe a huge pump out of it as well if it did kind of rebrand and relist and structure everything like that i think it could be a good thing but potentially right but um there's timing for everything all right not saying it has to happen not saying it will happen or should happen but you know uh that's just my two cents on that um but you know i'd still be happy with it staying a squid grow we've already established a brand we know who the founder is we know the backstory all that sort of stuff it all plays into that same thing so you know i think that could be uh you know something to think about potentially but ultimately, I think that, you know, Squid Grow is still bullish. I'm still holding my tokens and, um, like I said, picking up more. So, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's never easy watching your uh, the value of your tokens drop in, in price or your whole entire bag drop, right? Because I have pumped a ton of money into this particular project and now the bag is not looking incredible, right? But I'm investing in the long-term vision of this project. I'm invested in the founder, Shibtoshi. I believe that, you know, he's got what it takes to take this to the next level. And, um, you know, just his whole ethos and, you know, the AMAs and all that sort of stuff makes me bullish, makes me kind of, you know, have some level of trust in the founder of this project. I know it's not a cash grab. He's not doing this for the money. Um, he's not doing this for the fees and taxes and all that sort of stuff because it's all going back into the project. It's all going into liquidity. He's spending his own money on marketing. There's not even a marketing budget on this. Okay, the budget is coming from Shibtoshi himself. Uh, a personal experience that I've had with Shibtoshi is that, um, you know, some of us lost... Uh, some money uh, or some 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 tokens on the LP exchange when they changed the staking contracts, right? I was one of those people, and he actually did reach out to me and reimbursed those tokens. It wasn't just myself because I'm an influencer, right? Um, there was a group that was created, and everyone who actually lost anything on LP and that he reimbursed each and every single one of us, and um, you could see the progress happening in that private group. And, um, you know, I think that's very stand up. I think it's very noble of him to do that because he didn't have to do that. For me, it was uh, around maybe a couple of thousand dollars, uh, no no more than a couple of thousand dollars, right? But he didn't have to send me that back, right? So I think that's a pretty good thing. That makes me even more, it makes me trust um, this project even more. And it just gives me that kind of personal connection to the project, that personal experience, a billionaire taking time out of his day to kind of uh, speak to each and every one of us personally uh, by DM, right? And kind of reimburse us what we lost. Do you know what I mean? It just shows he, he's not here to take from the project. He's more giving back and giving to people and helping, you know. And I think that's just like, that's that's just great thing. It's bullish. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. Still bullish on Squid Grow. The only meme coin that I am holding in my portfolio right now. My portfolio is taking a massive hit across the board like, like all of us, right? Um, so yeah, you know, we're still here, we're still surviving. Um, let's hope that we can get through um to the to the bull market and um you know kind of you know stay strong guys but uh yeah that's the end of the video make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already like the video that helps with the youtube algorithm let me know in the comments if you are still bullish on squid grow whether you think the name should change to sgx that's not something that's put, been put to me by the team it's just something i'm asking uh off my own back but um yeah let me know what you think in the comments guys uh that's the end of the video i'll see you guys in the very next one